Welcome to IGSS Training. I'm Mike Torrance from Seven Technologies, Denmark. I'm here to present our scatter system, IGSS. This is lesson six, creating areas and diagrams. The topics of this lesson, <clears throat> we're gonna look at the definition module briefly. This is where the foundation for uh, many of the uh, things we configure for our IGSS system are defined. Then we're gonna create an area, and then afterwards we're going to create a diagram. What is the definition module? <clears throat> well, this is the place in our SCADA system where the system designer uses the tools in the module to lay the foundation for the logical visualization structure of the plant or process. This is where he keys in PLC addresses for communication between the plant and the IGSS system. This is where he creates trending graphs if necessary. This is where he creates alarm messages and report templates. Now we're looking at the structure, the logical structure in the IGSS software. Logical in, uh, res with respect to dividing the plant up into different sections if necessary. These are represented by the areas. We have area one, area two, area three. In every IGSS configuration, you will always have a universal area called the global area. This is an area that is always present in every IGSS configuration. Besides the global area, then you may want to uh, create other areas, as I say, to logically divide the process uh, that you present for your operator personnel that have to control the plant and monitor the plant. Looking underneath the area, we see that we have two diagrams, <clears throat> diagram one and diagram two. It is not possible to create a diagram unless you have an area in place. As I mentioned before, the global area is always a part of every IGSS configuration, and if you're on this area in the software, then you are able to create diagrams. Another requirement before <clears throat> we can create objects in our configuration is that in fact we have created a diagram. So we see here on diagram one that we have objects belonging to the diagram, in this case P1, Q1, T1 for example, and then on diagram two we have objects that belong to that diagram, P2, Q2, and T2 for example. Creating areas and diagrams are, <clears throat> of course, done in the definition module. We find the menu item in definition at the top, and there they both are, area and then diagram. Now let's go online and see how we accomplish these two tasks. Okay. My basic skeleton is finished. I've created a new configuration in the system configuration module. And then I have chosen the menu item called save and start definition from the system configuration module. Then I'm aut automatically put into the definition module. It looks pretty bare right now because there's really nothing <coughs> uh, in the configuration before I start working creating my areas diagrams, and objects. So we start by creating an area. Notice the global area is always present, but for purposes of demonstration, I'm gonna create a new area. And I'm gonna call it training. Or even better, IGSS training. Oops. There we go. I can put it in a description if I want to. Uh, uh, 
like this. I can choose a default name, uh, sorry, a default node to use. If I have more than one node in my configuration, more than one PLC, then I can choose which node uh, this particular area uh, is related to. I choose my driver. This is optional. You do not have to put this in. And then I click OK. And here is the newly created area called IGSS training. It still looks pretty bleak because I don't have any diagrams or any objects yet. After I've created the area, then I can go over to the diagram and begin creating my diagrams. The name of this diagram is exercise. <clears throat> now, I always want to remember to check name to menu option. Otherwise, I will not be able to see the name of this diagram in the menu up here. I have two choices for a diagram. I can either create a diagram with a color background, or I can create a diagram with a graphic in the background. And that's what I'm going to do now. Then I select picture, click the browse button, and go out on my hard disk and look for an appropriate background picture. And I think I'm going to find one very quickly out here. <clears throat> and almost there. Here it is. This is the one I want to use. Training, and that's a JPEG file. Open, and I have a little preview of the picture I'm going to be using for the diagram here. I click OK, and there it is. My next step would be, logically, to begin creating objects. But that comes in a later presentation, so we're going to leave that for now. Remember, there is an exercise following this presentation that we would like for you to do. Thank you very much for your attention. For more information, go to our website, www.7tdk/igss.